This video looks closely at Hindenburg Research, a well-known short-selling research firm. Hindenburg Research has gained a reputation in recent years for its investigative work and critical analysis of publicly traded companies. We discuss their working style and transparency standards and examine the criticism surrounding their methods and findings. Who are they? Hindenburg Research is a research-focused investment firm that operates on a short-selling business model, founded by Nathan Anderson in 2017 and based in New York City. It is named after the 1937 Hindenburg disaster, which they characterize as a human-made avoidable disaster. The firm generates public reports via its website that allege corporate fraud and malfeasance. What is short selling? Short selling is a financial strategy that involves selling securities that the seller does not own, hoping to buy the same securities back at a lower price to make a profit. A short selling business model aims to make money by betting against companies and industries. In the case of Hindenburg Research, they use a short-selling business model to investigate publicly traded companies and produce research reports to uncover fraudulent activities, unethical practices, and other issues that they believe may negatively impact the company's stock prices. If their research results in a decrease in the stock price, they can purchase the stock at a lower price, thus making a profit. It's important to note that short-selling can be a high-risk and complex strategy, and it is not suitable for everyone. Additionally, short-sellers are often seen as controversial because they profit from the decline of a company or industry. What do they do? Hindenburg Research's primary focus is on uncovering potential frauds, scams, and unethical practices in publicly traded companies. They have been involved in several high-profile cases where they have accused companies of fraudulent activities. In addition, they produce research reports on publicly traded companies and share their findings with the public and institutional investors. Why do they do it, and what are their motives? Hindenburg Research's primary mission is to uncover unethical practices in the corporate world and bring about positive change. In addition, they are motivated to expose fraudulent activities and protect investors from potential financial losses. However, their methods and working style have been the subject of criticism by some. Controversies and Disputes Some companies and individuals have accused Hindenburg Research of spreading false information and engaging in market manipulation. There have been instances where the research reports published by them have been disputed or proven to be incorrect. Here are a few examples. Nikola Corporation, in September 2020, Hindenburg Research published a report alleging that electric vehicle maker Nikola Corporation was involved in fraudulent activities. However, several experts disputed Hindenburg's claims, pointing out flaws in their methodology and evidence. Baidu Incorporated, in December 2020, Hindenburg Research published a report accusing Chinese tech giant Baidu Incorporated of misreporting its financials and engaging in fraudulent activities. Baidu swiftly refuted the allegations, and the company's stock price recovered soon after publishing the report. 
Plug Power Inc. In April 2021, Hindenburg Research released a report questioning the business practices of hydrogen fuel cell maker Plug Power Inc. The report sparked a sharp decline in the company's stock price. However, Plug Power released a statement refuting the claims made in the report, and several analysts defended the company's business model. Can we call Hindenburg's work illegal? No, Hindenburg Research's work is not illegal. Their research reports and investigations into publicly traded companies are protected by freedom of speech and press under the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. They use publicly available information, as well as their own research and analysis, to produce detailed reports that are meant to bring these issues to light and protect investors. Successes Hindenburg Research is known for producing thorough and well-researched reports that shed light on some publicly traded companies' unethical practices and fraudulent activities. In some cases, their research reports have prompted regulatory investigations into the companies they have investigated, leading to significant changes within those companies and protecting investors from financial losses. Hindenburg researchers' short-selling reports on companies like Nikola have caused significant stock price drops, which has helped protect investors from potential financial losses. Their research reports have helped to raise public awareness about unethical practices and fraudulent activities within companies, and the need for greater transparency and accountability in the corporate world. Failures. Hindenburg Research has faced criticism for its aggressive and confrontational approach. There have been disputes over the accuracy of their research reports, with some being proven to contain false or misleading information, which may call into question the reliability of their findings. Many argue that Hindenburg research tends to make bold and sensationalized claims without providing enough evidence to back them up. Additionally, there have been concerns about the transparency of the research firm's funding sources and potential conflicts of interest. Some have accused Hindenburg research of being biased towards short selling, as they stand to benefit from a drop in stock prices after their critical reports. Should we trust them? On the one hand, Hindenburg Research is known for producing thorough and well-researched reports that uncover companies' unethical practices and fraudulent activities. They have also been successful in prompting regulatory investigations and causing significant stock price drops in some cases. On the other hand, they have also been criticized for their aggressive and confrontational approach, and some of their research reports have been disputed over accuracy issues. Additionally, they operate on a short-selling business model, which some may view as being potentially biased. Ultimately, it is up to the individual to conduct their own research and make informed decisions based on their assessment of the evidence and arguments. Conclusion In conclusion, Hindenburg Research has significantly impacted the world of financial research and analysis. However, it's essential to take their findings and claims with a grain of salt and consider the potential motives and biases behind them. Ultimately, it is up to the individual to conduct their research and make informed decisions based on their assessment of the evidence and arguments. Purpose The purpose of the video is to tell viewers about Hindenburg research and to highlight the importance, success, failures and disputes involving Hindenburg research in the financial world.